Amiga had many great racing games over the years. It may have not been the most popular genre on the system, but they were fun nonetheless and I believe it's worth highlighting the best 10 of this year. So grab a seat and a beverage and enjoy this video. At first glance, Extreme Racing looks as if it was Amiga's attempt at Mario Kart, but the brick-sized pixels make everything hard to look at and focus on. I can't play it for too long exactly because of that. A bit wasted potential if I say so myself. ATR, aka All Terrain Racing, looks great, sounds great, but... But I'm too old and it moves too fast and chaotic. I can't possibly conquer the beast that this game is, and that is why it can't get on my list. Micro Machines was not as good as the second part, that sadly never saw release on the Amiga. Still, it's an interesting premise of racing toy vehicles in everyday locations. Awesome when played with someone, little less so when alone. Mainly because of its fast and hectic nature. Silky smooth animations are a definite plus here. Even though it looked only a little better than C64 version, thanks to higher resolution and wider color palette, it was as good as the 8-bit version. High, race tracks full of jumps and sharp corners at high speeds are always fun. The animation, however, was a bit choppy, proving that Amiga was not cut out for real 3D. Reminiscent of Death Rally on PC, if I had to compare it to anything. Earlier than that title though, and not as good. Still, tons of fun, especially with all the weapons. Sadly, no two-player mode. One of the few and far between AGA chip exclusives. Way more playable with a gamepad than a joystick. Much, much better than the former two titles in the series. Handles like a charm and it's a pleasure to play. Extra features like financial management, car damage and upgrades, and bets against other drivers just add to the death of it. And the idea of racing through all of the United States makes it an instant hit and one of the best racers on the Amiga. Super Hang On is the only arcade conversion title on this list. I wouldn't say that it's arcade perfect, but it's damn close. Looks great, has nice and big sprites, and runs decently. Not as smooth as I'd like, but keeping in mind that it's an Atari ST port, as many early Amiga games were, and doesn't use any of Amiga's specialized chips, it's as good as it could have been. It's no more than an updated version of Room. It's hardly a simulation, but as an arcade title, F1 is just great. It runs very fast and smooth, at least for Amiga standards. In fact, 
Not very often such feeling of speed could be found in Amiga's racers. Very addictive and challenging, a definite recommendation. Interesting title for many reasons. First, many cars and trucks to choose from. Second, awesome two-player mode. Third, it offered high and low res mode, but it may very well also be the only game where I feel that low res looks and plays better. Finally, it came on 8 discs, meaning that it was an excellent tool for practice if someone was into juggling. Arguably the best out of all three parts in the series, even if it's simply a checkpoint race. It's fast, smooth and handles brilliantly, making it an excellent title to just fire up for a few quick races. Amazing in split-screen two-player mode as well. A true granddaddy of all good Amiga racers and a benchmark, for better or worse, that all others are compared to. Even though it came few years earlier, in my opinion it's better playing than Roadkill or ATR. Looks worse given its age, but offers a variety of weapons and runs smooth in super fun split screen to player mode. Simply said, it's just a bloody good time. Also, Harrison Ford. It may have just been a Mega Drive port, it may have not been as technically advanced as many other games on this list, and finally, it may have not sound or looked the best. But it's one of the first few games I had on my Amiga, and it was, and still is to this day, one of the most fun races on 16-bit machines. The tracks are fun and varied, and it's equally as enjoyable to simply race on them as it is to mash your opponents or kick them off their bikes. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. This is all from me, have a good one and see you next time.